King Cobra, JFS. I know where you're coming from. My apartment was filthy too. But you gotta get off the booze. That is not a good thing. I mean, occasionally, yes, you gotta control it. Or else it looks like it's controlling you. And being a bug nest, that puts your health at risk. You know, it, it happens. A lot of people do it. Just hang in there, detox yourself from it. And slowly try to clean up the apartment, that's all. I mean, I'm with you, the maniacs are with you. If you need any help, contact me again. I'm not looking down on you because a lot of people go through that, and even worse. The thing is, you gotta get yourself back into what you're doing and don't let it control you. And I hope you can get back on some training, some water drinking, healthy eating, get out in the sun, get some good sleep. Detoxify yourself for a little while. That's all I ask. What do you think about that, King Cobra JFS? Well, looks like I have to make a video on King Cobra now. It's just dropping in there like that. God damn it! It goes down. It rises. It goes down and it's out. Hi there! It's a strange animal I don't even know. <laughs> I think it might be a pigeon, I'm not sure. Hey little guy, you're a YouTube star. <laughs> it was in the back seats. I put my hands in the back window and I growled at it in demonic, basically. And I growled at it in demonic tongue, basically. So it's a leaf. Throw away. Never come back. And it did just that. So. Not too bad for my first exorcism. <sighs> I cannot believe I got cock blocked by my own by my own dummy. Ha <laughs> ha! Who's the dummy now? YouTube is full of interesting characters. Characters you wouldn't know about without the internet. These people can often be interesting for one or two reasons. Perhaps they think they're the greatest boxer of all time. Maybe they think they're the best rapper to ever do it. Maybe the interest comes from watching them try and fail to achieve a goal over and over again. But for Josh Saunders, aka King Cobra JFS, he isn't just interesting for a few reasons. He grabs people's attention for a variety of reasons. He can do it all. A jack of all trades. And one of those trades is cooking. Josh considers himself to be something of a highly skilled chef. But he's less Gordon Ramsay and more Kay's cooking. Hell yeah. Here's the pizza. Got sushi. They got pig's feet, Doritos. Yeah, mix it up real good. Oh yeah, mix up that mac and cheese. Mix it up so good. Oh yeah. Let's see what that burger looks like before you put the chocolate on top. There it is, folks. And as well as the food not looking very appealing, just like Kay's cooking, when Josh cooks, it can be pretty dangerous. Damn it! Stop! The end product may not usually look very appealing, but the journey getting there is usually a lot of fun, and Josh seems to enjoy making the cooking videos, as well as eating the end product. This burger was stacked and made perfectly. Have you witnessed 
such a burger that took your breath away. It said, come hither and feast upon my excellence. Oh. As well as thinking himself to be something of a chef, Josh thinks of himself as something of a wizard. The fire rises. It goes down. It rises. Woohoo! Give me walk sign. Come on. Yeah! Hey, as soon as I pulled my wand out and waved it, boom, instant. <laughs> Almighty thunderstorm, come forth to me. On this video I film on my phone. Almighty thunder, pounding outside. Strike for me loud on camera, please. Come forth. And boom. The magic wands he uses are actually made by Josh himself. He even sells them online. And people seem to really love the wands. Wonderful item was a gift for Father's Day and my son was super excited. The item came with a personalised note which made it that much more special. The dankness is real folks. My son and I inadvertently got one of these for each other for Father's Day. What a great surprise for both of us. I can't wait to open carry mine. No laws against it suckers. Thanks. Dankness. You're the best! Hashtag TWU It took a while to get here, but it was worth it. Holding the wand in my hand, I can feel the vibrations of some sort of kinetic energy flowing from the wand down to my elbow. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm ready to learn. I was able to knock a few empty beer cans off the table just by pointing the wand at them, but I know it's capable of so much more. Can't wait to release the full potential. Good stuff. Bought this for my girlfriend, but she broke up with me. Gave it to her anyways. It's a good wand. Of course you can't please everyone though. Yeah, uh, I purchased the yellow wand, and after many attempts I have been unable to change traffic lights or summon thunderstorms. Cobocraft wands must have forgotten to put magic in this wand. I am very disappointed that my wand is useless. Please give me a refund or send a bottle of magic so I can fix it. I actually ordered one of his magic wands, but sadly it doesn't work. See? Rubbish. Weird because it works when Josh uses it. Come on, spread this room. There it goes. Right after waving my wand at it. That was pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Josh would also like to think of himself as something of a ladies' man. Thing of it is, YouTube, is I know I'm good looking. I know I have. De I know I'm a decent looking guy. You know, I know that I'm attractive enough. You know, I got that mysterious bad boy thing going about me that some chicks just can't get enough of. Even though when he was at high school, he was often accused of being creepy with the girls. Josh had a good reason for this though, they were totally into him. And I can actually see why Josh thought the girls would be into him. High school girls love a jock, or at least they do in the movies, and Josh, believe it or not, was a jock. Sort of. He was on the school wrestling team, even receiving a letterman jacket. However, he didn't stick it out as he decided the sport was gay and left the team. And what else do girls like? They like a guy that's funny. So I just flew in here from England and uh, boy are my arms tired. <coughs> no, but seriously, what's the deal with airplane food? <coughs> Come on, Snowflake, you're losing, you're losing them. them. So, what about this Donald Trump guy, huh? And Josh, to be fair, can be pretty funny. Can I take my shirt off? I don't see why not. There we go. 
Look at these uh, trap muscles, man. <laughs> the Guns Club. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Like, okay, I know it's nerdy as sh I know it's nerdy as shit, but come on. But come on, it's Darth Vader's lightsaber, dude. Ouch. See, the good thing it's not a real lightsaber. I was just kidding when I said ouch, but if that would have been a real lightsaber, my hand would have been gone. Just, just, just no more guitar playing for Cobra. Ah! Uh, and that's how you mountain do it. <laughs> Women also love a man who is kind to animals. And Josh isn't just kind to them, he's a regular Dr. Doolittle. Hi there. It's a strange animal, I don't even know. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I think it might be a pigeon, I'm not sure. It's okay. Hi there. Very careful, very careful. Hey. hey. Hi there. Oh, that's a pretty bird, huh? Hey YouTube, Um, I was walking back to my apartment when up there in the tree is an actual owl. It's so cool. I literally, I heard him hooting. Oh, there he goes. I heard him hooting. I heard him hooting walking back to my place. And then I decided to hoo back at him. Hoo, 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 hoo. Women also like a man who can provide. And Josh has had a variety of different jobs over the years. He's worked at Burger King as well as a pizza restaurant. He also worked at Wendy's, where his job was to keep the lobby and restrooms clean and refill the teas. One time, he thought he had the afternoon off work, so he decided to dye his hair black. Put it in your hand. Go around. And start working into your hair. Holy crap. I look like shit. Sadly for Josh though, it turned out he didn't have the afternoon off and was actually late for work. So he had to go in with his now blue face. And going into work late with a blue face wasn't the only time Josh would mess up at work. I had an incident happen to me at work the last two days. Um, I mixed up the teas again and I don't do that shit intentionally. Let's get that out of the way right now. But it doesn't matter if you do that shit intentionally or not. My manager was pretty pissed at me for doing it. So, long story short, um, she scheduled me to work one day next week. Josh would eventually be fired from Wendy's. Despite not doing so well in his work life, Josh was actually pretty useful. Yeah. Well, I got a call from my best friend Judy when I got off work to come hang out. I'm like, yeah, sure, you know. And then she tells me that she has an entity in the apartment she's staying in. So she's asking me, hey, could you come help me deal with it? And I said, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I roll up onto the scene with um, this wand right here, this wand right here. And then I managed to corner it into the bathroom. And I said, reveal yourself. And uh, it did. Long cloaked hooded figure with no face. Kind of a shadowy sort of demonic presence basically. And um, I commanded it to leave the apartment and to leave Judy's kids alone because it was, unfortunately, it was attacking one of the kids. Because I, I pulled my demon out and I said, you want to fucking go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, motherfucker? And it started backing away from me. 
and then it backed into the fucking walls and then attached itself to the car that brought me there to that apartment and then it was in the back seat. I put my hands in the back window and I growled at it in demonic basically and I growled at it in demonic tongue basically until it's a leaf. Go away. Never come back. And it did just that. So, not too bad for my first exorcism. And the very minute I exorcised that demonic presence from the apartment Judy was staying in, the apartment, the energy, it felt lighter. It did. And I had my friend Shorty help me out with that. And uh, we both started farting like a couple hours later and it was weird. It may all seem a bit silly to some, but to be fair to Josh, his friend called him up needing help and he was straight over to see what he could do. And as well as being useful and somewhat brave, Josh also likes to make sure he smells good too. Listen up you two, being a man, it's not about playing guitar. Now, being a man, it's not about shredding guitar. Being a man, huh? Let me tell you. What about the beer you drink? It ain't even about that, YouTube. Now, being a man, time for you to man up. You want to smell like a rock star? You want to smell like a badass? Get yourself some tactical soap and start smelling like an alpha male. I've seen people charge way too much money for pheromone products that don't even do the trick, slick. But let me tell you something, tactical soap gets the ladies in the mood, my dude. How much money would you pay for a soap like that? Hundreds? Two hundreds? Let me tell you something, tactical soap is only $10.95 a bar. With shipping, you're looking at a little bit over $11. Josh has also been known to use Axe body spray as well, just like another character we know. A lot of women even find bald men sexy, although Josh doesn't agree he's going bald naturally, despite losing his hair over the years. Instead, Josh has another explanation for it. One of the reasons why I wear the bandana is because I have trichoteria. It's a picking compulsion where the person who has trichoteria they pick out their hair basically. I have in the past picked out hair from the top of my head in this general area right here. And Josh has tried everything to get his hair to grow back. Um, I've been taking a little bit of mayonnaise and spreading it on my widow's peak right here and right up in here. And then I'll take a little bit of mayonnaise and put it on the spots on the back of my head where I've picked out my hair. Women also love a guy who can play guitar and Josh is known for his guitar skills. But it's not the only instrument he plays. It's a lot harder than it looks. You see, she'll go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's like, dude, now you're just showing off. As well as musical instruments, he's also something of a rapper. So how are we gonna do this? You, you, oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna... Now, rapping like ranting is an art form. It's like poetry, really. Yeah. I mean, you can't just go off on a rant without actually knowing what the fuck you're talking about. And rapping, in a sense, is no different. I mean, you got, you know what I'm saying? You, got you gotta laugh. know what the fuck you're saying to make it fucking sound good. You yeah, that too, and you know, you can't you know, rap about anything. Well, you could, but you know. You're gonna be a Slim Shady. <laughs> now, I was rolling up to the Walmart looking for a game for my PS3, and what should I happen to see but GTA San Andreas? I was like, oh damn! Plugged it in, got the PS3 rolling. Come to find out the cheat codes ain't going. Man, what the fuck? I'm sitting here flowing. This ain't the same. I fucking hit the arrow button and it's showing me my stats. I don't want no motherfucking stats, man. I'm trying to get my fucking cheat code on. Man, Rockstar, what the hell? 
You fucked up on the PS3 version. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I gotta figure this shit out. I try entering the cheat codes to get shotguns and all kinds of guns and blowing loads, but man, the cheat codes ain't flowing like my raps are going. Sitting there with the car broke down, towing to the station. Look at me rapping like it's no complication. I got raps on the mind like you got constipation. This is it. I'm sitting there taking a shit on your face. Weed um, should be legal. It's just the plant. Better for you than tobacco is, so don't even answer me with it. It can't. Now, here's the thing. Just because tobacco and alcohol is legal don't mean shit. Wiggleize the weed and keep tobacco and alcohol legal as well. Because what kind of hell if you sit there and say, well... Marijuana is safer. Maybe we shouldn't make alcohol and tobacco legal. Fuck that. We already tried alcohol prohibition. And in case you've been missing history, it didn't work, you fucking jerk. Oh. Okay, the rapping may not have been the best, but he's still better than a lot of rappers out there. Josh has even released multiple albums. And just like with the ones, fans go crazy for his music. Maybe the best song on the album. Great song to have stuck in your head while washing dishes. This boy can sing. The singer sounds like a young Ozzy Osbourne. Please, Tua. President Trump here. Love your stuff, Josh. Keep up the amazing work. This is real music, bro. <coughs> for all the reasons I have mentioned and more, it's easy to see why Josh has had quite a few girlfriends. One of his lady friends was a woman named Stephanie. Stephanie would often appear in Josh's videos, usually in the background quiet, not doing much of anything really. After Josh received quite a few comments from people claiming he wasn't treating Stephanie good enough, he responded. So a lot of y'all are like, Oh, uh, Stephanie gets so much better than him. Yeah. Well, guess what? I just made Stephanie a hot pocket and got her some Dr. Pepper. So I little shit talking and go to hell <laughs> with the shit talking. <laughs> How's a hot pocket, sweetie? It's four meat and cheese. <laughs> That's good. That's right, to prove he was treating his woman right, he made her a hot pocket. But to be fair, Stephanie seemed pretty happy with this. Sadly though, the relationship would not last. Josh would cheat on Stephanie with a pregnant woman he met at a gas station for a pack of cigarettes. And one of Josh's friends even joined in. This wasn't what destroyed the relationship though, but it definitely didn't help. Stephanie forgave him for this, however, Stephanie would also go on to cheat. Thankfully, Josh wasn't bitter about the whole situation. People are informing me that my ex-girlfriend, uh, Stephanie, does videos. Quite frankly, I don't care. YouTube's a big enough platform. I'm an adult. She's an adult. We can all share this platform peacefully. However, I think it's cute how she's copying my style. Like, bro, the same format, too. The only difference is she ain't making wands. Stephanie was a serious relationship for Josh. He's had smaller ones that have lasted barely a day. Some a little longer than a day, but the majority seemed to end fairly quickly. Then there was summer. Josh bragged about how he was having intercourse with a new lady. However, he wouldn't reveal who it was. But then Josh messed up by posting on Summer's Facebook wall. Summer was into some pretty unique things, especially dressing up. This relationship had promise. Sadly though, once again the relationship ended after Summer claimed one of Josh's fans hacked into her Facebook to delete the only picture she had of her kid. She just couldn't handle the effects of Josh's stardom. Josh was getting a lady friend, then they would leave him. So his solution was to buy a lady friend that couldn't leave him. Josh wanted to buy a blow-up doll. He set up a GoFundMe page for the doll he wanted, which cost $2,000. However, the page was deleted. Josh then received a $1,000 doll from a fan. He claimed that while it was not the exact doll he wanted, 
he would take the gesture as a compliment. Disaster struck though as Josh told his audience via Facebook that a thief broke into his apartment and stole the doll. Josh later claimed that the police found the doll destroyed in the back of a meth addict's car who had allegedly tried to get scrap metal out of it. However, it didn't take Josh long to come clean and admit that he destroyed the doll because he got angry after ripping its special area during use. What I did was rather eerie to say the least. Sent as a gift from a fan, Josh received a miniature version of the doll that he had been wanting to purchase. Unlike the last doll sent to him, Josh approved of its quality and therefore decided to keep the doll. Oh, at least now, YouTube, I won't be alone on Valentine's Day, wink wink. <laughs> no, but... Just when it looked like Josh couldn't be more entertaining, he suddenly was. Although a lot of the credit must go to King Cobra JFS, spelling Cobra with a K rather than a C. Yes, Josh had a copycat, his very own liquid Chris, if you will. The new Cobra claimed that he was indeed the real King Cobra, and that the old Cobra was nothing but a fake. And needless to say, Josh was not impressed. Now speaking of Cobra Craft Wands, the phony Cobra has made this video making fun of my business. It's so pathetic, dude. Like, you people have seen me make wands on social media accounts. Right off the bat, you can see he definitely stole the Cobra from my logo that had an awesome fan design for me. That's what's up. Our wands are of the highest possible quality. Unlike that phony Cobra who uses fake leather and waters down his paints, our wands are guaranteed Ah, okay, the leather I get is leather string, which is made in India. They sell it at Walmart, which is real leather, and it makes it easier to wrap around the handles. Water-based paints. Okay, you see me make wands on YouTube how many times? <clears throat> Hold on. Let's take a look at one of these spray paint cans. Water-based, huh? Oh my god. This video made me laugh, bro. Like, I was like, dude, this phony Cobra wishes he was as cool as me. It's so pathetic. Cobra Craft, a better wand. <laughs> wow, dude, that was so pathetic. And right after he gets me shit for selling him for $24, he sells them for one penny less. And even with shipping, it's still gonna be over $24. <laughs> it's really all I can say at this point. To the fake King Cobra, thank you for the free advertisement. Because it doesn't matter how you spell it, it still sounds the same as mine. You wish you were as cool as me, but you're a poor parody of me and it's quite pathetic. Josh even made videos where he would play guitar to prove he was the real one. Again, just like Chris Chan. Josh was understandably unhappy about this copycat, and who can blame him? I wouldn't be happy if another snowflake appeared. Hey. What's this? I'm the real Mr. Snowflake? Hey everybody, I am the real Mr. Snowflake. That other guy is nothing but a poser. Everyone knows Mr. Snowflake has a black hood, not a silly blue one. Hey, what about that big Lenny, huh? And what about Jason Genova? Those Delray misfits sure are crazy. Oh, he's right about the misfits. Maybe he is the real Mr. Snowflake. Oh god, he can play guitar better than me too. I guess maybe I'm not the real Snowflake. But if I'm not Snowflake, then who am I? From now on YouTube, you can call me... Them They Flake. They Them Flake. Them... As well as the fake Cobra trying to mess with Josh, so did some other people. They would order pizzas to his house and not pay for them. The same thing happened with Charlie Zelenoff. But ordering pizza is child's play compared to what I'm about to show you.
The local police stormed Josh's house after someone impersonating Josh claimed he was going to harm his wife and children. This couldn't have been a very pleasant experience for Josh. In fact, it must have been pretty scary. You must have to really hate a guy to try and hurt him like this. Someone else who wasn't a fan of Josh tried to hurt him in another way. A way perhaps even more extreme and more terrifying than calling the police. 66 King Cobra for disabling his chats and being a pansy to kids. Disabling his chat. Order 66 King Cobra. JFS, you piece of crap. Order 66, your candy ass piece of boy. At least Josh has some good friends he can rely on to get him through the tough times. Friends like Steve. Although, maybe Steve wasn't one of the better friends. Because Steve tried to get with Summer when Josh was with her. Steve was something of a furry, a bit like Summer, so they had things in common. Although I'm not sure if Summer tried to make love to an inflatable goat, like Steve apparently did. <laughs> Josh would go on to forgive Steve for this, however Steve would make his own video defending himself and telling everyone that Summer said Josh was unclean and how she didn't really want to be with Josh. Steve quickly deleted the video though. If Steve didn't appear to be a very good friend, then perhaps homeboy Scotty was the better friend to Josh. After all, he was massively outraged at the whole Summer Steve situation. Fuck him. Steve tried to fuck Josh's girl, that's what he did, dude. He was trying to get down her pants and shit. Although, even homeboy Scotty wasn't a perfect friend to Josh. Scotty had promised Josh that he would hook him up with a black-haired, green-eyed goth named Bailey, who played the guitar and listened to Cradle of Filth. However, any time plans were made for the two to meet, Bailey always cancelled due to some last minute emergency. After this went on and on, fans began to question if Scotty was for real. <laughs> I don't even know what catfishing means, but no, I'm being for real when I say I got him a girl and I fucking tried. Scotty then told Josh that Bailey had changed her phone number to avoid telemarketers, so now it was almost impossible to reach her. Josh, though, believed Scotty was actually legitimate. Now, I'm not trying to talk smack on anyone in this video. However, Scotty did say that he was going to try to introduce me to a chick, and it kind of backfired a little bit. The last couple of days, every time me and Scott attempt to go hang out with chicks, something just happens, and it prevents the whole thing from happening. You know, it's not Scotty's fault. Getting his hopes up only for them to be shattered couldn't have been easy for Josh. I'm just, I'm sick and tired of it, you know? I'm sick and tired of getting excited for a date only to find out, only to get let down like this, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people are going to sit there and try to cross-examine this, and they're going to sit there and say, well, this just sounds like a repeating pattern, blah, 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 blah. Something else that wasn't easy for Josh was all of the trolling he received about Scotty, or more specifically, R.I.P. Homeboy Scotty. When Josh made a video about the death of Elvis Presley's guitarist, Scotty Moore, fans began using the phrase R.I.P. Homeboy Scotty, and because Josh would react to it, people kept using the phrase, and Josh still to this day can't help himself but react. Homeboy Scotty did not die. I posted a video entitled, Rest in Peace, Scotty Moore, Guitarist for Elvis. Basically, that should tell you that the guitarist for Elvis Presley has just passed away. And one person commented, Oh, sorry to hear about your homeboy, or something like that. One person commented, in fact, let me just... One person commented, Rip Homeboy Scotty. To which I replied, he did not die. So then that must mean that 10 to 20 other motherfuckers are going to jump in and say the exact same goddamn thing. To the point where I'm just repeating myself. So, let me reassure you with this video. My homeboy Scotty did not die. He is alive and well. The double date is still on for Friday. Wow. Thanks for the donation, troll. Fuck you. Homeboy Scotty is still alive, by the way. I hung out with him just the other day, so sitting there creating a YouTube channel called Homeboy Scotty's Funeral Fund and then saying, hey, could you help pay for my coffin? You're fucking stupid, dude, you know that? 
All the uh, Rip Homeboy Scotty comments are going to get you banned from my channel, just so you know. Another important friend to Josh is Chris. When Chris was down on his luck, Josh let Chris stay in his studio apartment with him. Chris was unemployed, which meant that he would usually be in the background of Josh's videos and usually would be playing Grand Theft Auto. It was a lovely thing for Josh to do to allow his friend to stay with him. But they say no good deed goes unpunished. Chris would start to agitate Josh. He would constantly correct Josh and interrupt his videos. Josh bit his tongue for a long time, but Josh is only human apparently, and he could only take so much. So this had a little bit of everything in it, minus um, the fish, which would be in the dairy actually. So yeah, so this, this pretty much... Could, the fish goes on protein, meat. Chris, do you have to correct me every fucking video I make? Why the fuck would you think that fish is a dairy product? Does it come out of a cow? It contains protein like milk. Milk's a dairy product. Milk, cheese, all that is dairy. Peanuts go into uh, proteins which are meat. Maybe there's a slip of the tongue. It happens. Okay, stop correcting me every fucking video. I'm getting sick and tired of it. <sighs> anyway, this meal here contains a little bit of everything that you need for a healthy meal. It contains the meat, your wheat, your dairy, protein, okay, your wheats. The thing it didn't contain was the sugar. But we'll get to that in a minute. Mm. What about the jelly? Okay, the jelly had a little bit of sugar in it. And the vegetables had the fruits, the pepper and the tomato. Um, had the wheat, the meats. Here's your dairy right here. Okay, that was an easy to make meal. I can. Thankfully, Chris would finally find a job at Walmart but was fired after cutting his own hand with a box cutter, which meant Chris wouldn't be moving out anytime soon. Shit, what is today? Uh, today's Sunday. Okay. Yeah, so today is Sunday. Why? Do you have court Monday? Uh-huh. All of Josh's relationships with women seemed to start and end fairly quickly. His friends didn't appear to be great friends either, so it's no wonder Josh drinks. However, sadly for Josh, he would be banned from his favourite bar for making a big scene when they cut him off one night. Josh went on to make a video where he spoke badly about the bar, and unfortunately for Josh, the staff actually saw the video. Not being able to go to his favourite bar any longer, Josh began drinking more and more at home, which meant we would get to see more drunk Josh than ever before. Hey guys, this is Chris Moore. Yo, what are you this is my you brother know? Josh. He's the one going to help me make the videos, or certain videos. Check out his channel, Warlord771. He's got I a couple of good videos. Shut, Shut up! He's a little drunk. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I am here. I gotta keep him in line. Dude, right. come on, dude. I got your armpit sweat all over me, dude. It's my favorite shirt. Nope. Hey, put the camera over here. There's it on the... You piece of fucking shit! Your mother was a smelly cunt! Yeah, we know. So, there we have it. Josh is one of the most entertaining characters on the internet. Sure, he may not be the most famous. Chris Chan's antics have seen to that, but he's great entertainment for many. A better watch than a lot of rubbish what's on TV now. And at least Josh isn't afraid to be totally 100% himself. 
unlike a lot of cookie cutters out there. He's confident enough in himself to be what he is, a jack of all trades and a master of none. And that YouTube is what's up. That's most definitely what's up. Ellen will never get with you because you smell and you're ugly. Well, if you mean I smell good because of my tactical soap, you're right about that. But look at what I got here. Steak, cooking, monster and beer. Yeah, show that logo. No response. No, the sidewalk. Not sure what's up here. And the reason why is because mayonnaise has egg whites in it, and egg whites have been proven to grow your hair out. Now, you should use over a kitchen sink or a towel, because it's very messy, but I'll take my chances. And I asked my other friend, Shorty, I asked him, I said, so this thing, where's the activity the worst at? Tomorrow, I want to go hang out with my homeboy Scotty at the fair, and, uh, you know, see if we can't talk to a couple of girls here and there. Yeah. My homeboy Scotty has not died.